guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today is Friday, which means it's Fabric Friday. Let's talk about some fabric. So, this week we are going to talk about corduroy. We're getting a bit of those 70s vintage vibes with corduroy, but it is pretty trendy at the moment. And with all the new colours that corduroy has come out in, I'm kind of here for it. So let's talk about this one in particular. This corduroy I actually picked up like a few weeks ago. I wasn't really looking for it, but when I saw it, I was like, all right then, you can join my family. Um, I'm really enjoying this like dusky pink color. It is um, definitely wearable, uh, at least for me it is. There were a ton of different colors to choose from, and I think I may pick up some more because they had one in a really nice khaki green, which I liked a lot, but I thought, let me, let me get this one first. I can always go back. Let's hope it's there. But uh, this one is actually a needle cord. Now the difference between normal corduroy fabric and needle cord is the number of um, like the number of lines. So essentially, if I'm just break it down to its uh, barest form, corduroy is basically like a tufted velvet. It has the same properties as velvet, um, soft to the touch, um, and kind of has that like color changing property, but it is corded as in it's in lines. So sometimes you'll see that um, with like a very thick corduroy, it'll be like in a line and then it'll be a gap, which will be down to the bare, uh, the bare base of the fabric. And then you'll see the velvet tuft again. So it's like corded in lines. Um, and yeah, so a needle cord is just very, very fine lines whereas a normal cord are much thicker and fatter and more visible from far away so I will show you the difference on screen of what a needle cord looks like and what a normal corduroy looks like you can see they're quite different but the same from the same family but they just look different one's a bit fatter the other one's a bit thinner so I picked up the needle cord because I wanted it to be a little bit more subtle than your standard like corduroy big stripes um, I do actually have one that's got like bigger stripes um, and they range from like how big you can, you can get really fat corduroys um, but um, I got one that looks more standard in a really nice gray and this one in pink I got the needle cord because I got some plans for this and I'm not quite sure it's gonna work out but we're gonna give it a try anyway so let me tell you what I'm gonna do with this I don't know if you've been out on the high street recently but there are a, there's a lot of corduroy out there there's corduroy suits you've got lots of jackets you've got skirts you've got trousers and I don't really want to make any of that because I did see something that I thought yes I want that even though I can buy most things most of the time if I see something that I really want I don't think oh I want to buy that I think oh I wonder if I can make that not because I don't like the style usually the one in the store is usually the one I want but I always think if it's something that I think might be a bit challenging for me and I might learn something new then I'll probably want to try and make it if I absolutely fail and it turns out I am absolutely useless at making this then I'll probably go back and buy it but if I make it and it's amazing well then that's great sometimes I'll buy the item take it home examine it and then use that as a basis for me to copy it and then I can take that item back so you know it really really depends in this case I saw a puffer jacket winter's coming the big puffer jackets are out and I saw it and it was in like this tan corduroy uh, fabric the corduroy was actually a stretch one because you can get stretched corduroys and it just looked really really nice it was like really nicely really really puffed and it was a little bit cropped and I thought what a great jacket now there are so many of those on the market right now Topshop has them and other stories had them you go into ASOS there's like a whole bunch of them and there's like a different range of prices and even though there are pink ones out there I still just want to have a crack at it myself if it all goes wrong I'll probably just go buy it but I really want to just see if I can make a puffer jacket out of corduroy by myself now I'm gonna add that to my list of winter coats to make because that list is like so long now and I never intended it to be this long but there's just so many cool things out there and there's just so much that uh, I just want to have a go at so I just figured let's just have a go so that's what i want to make i want to make a corduroy puffer jacket there are plenty out there so i will be definitely doing some research but that is what i'm going for and i'm gonna make it in this gorgeous dusty pink uh whether or not it has a hood not quite sure but i do know it will have some sort of like 
collar business and the inside is going to be completely lined uh, either with something silky or something furry i might make it super warm on the inside and go with like that plush fabric I don't know. There's like so much I can do with it, but there'll definitely be pockets and it will have a zip front instead of a popper front because that way we're not getting any of that extra cold in. But yeah, that is basically the plan. I don't know if it will work. Maybe I'm crazy, I don't know, but like we'll figure it out. So uh, so yeah, this is, uh, this is what I'm gonna do with this baby. And it is so nice to touch, ugh, love it. So now that I have like very briefly told you what I'm going to be making out of this corduroy, let me tell you where I got it from, how much it was and how much it cost. So I picked up this fabric from Gold Hawk Road. Yep, did quite a bit of shopping on that street and uh, I have a few other things that I want to show you guys. So yeah, it is not A1 Fabrics, which is what last week's fabric was from. This one is Classic Textiles. This one is across the road and like a few stores down. So you'll be able to see it from A1 if you decide to go to both at the same time. It is a really, really big store in there. They have like an upstairs, a middle, and a basement and they have like a huge range of fabrics in there just like A1 fabrics. So that's another one that's got really good prices and they had a whole corduroy section with all the colours and I was there for a very long time trying to figure out which ones to buy. So yeah, quite quite the decision. I did end up actually buying two from there. But this is the pink one. Pretty, pretty good. And you know what? The price is not too bad either. So this was six pounds a meter, which I think is quite reasonable for a needle cord. It's a nice, like a not too thick, not too thin fabric. And for what I need it for, it's perfect. So six pounds a meter, I was quite happy to pay. And I got two and a half meters, which I think is more than enough for like a cropped puffer jacket. If I do decide, um, I did get a little bit more in the other fabric. So if I do decide to do some sort of like suit based thing, then I'll probably do it with a darker fabric. But with this pink one, two and a half meters six pounds a meter the total coming up to 15 pounds or in so i was quite happy with my purchase here again i'm really quite excited to get stuck into it and the store that i was in was classic textiles i'll put all the details down below in case you want to you need the address and you can go over there i don't believe they have a website or anything I, in fact i don't think a lot of the shops have websites down there so it's better to just go there see feel touch because they have such a wide variety it would probably take them a little while to uh get it all online anyway so um yeah that is what i got so after this fabric friday that you're watching i'm gonna put one more up and then we're gonna have a little break of a couple of weeks uh mostly because uh i'm kind of running out of fabrics to show you guys and with all the fabrics that i have shown you i want to be able to start getting into the making i'm gonna have a very busy next couple of weeks trying to uh make some tutorials for you guys do some things off camera maybe some sew alongs just trying to like get some stuff for you so you guys can see the end products of all the fabrics that you guys have seen so far so we've got a bit of a backlog we've completely changed seasons now so a lot of the stuff that was for summer stuff um has kind of gone to the back of the queue so at the moment i'm in like a jacket making thing because i want to be able to wear them so all those things i want to keep you guys posted so we're going to have a little bit of a break on the fabric fridays but we will be back it's not over it's just on a break it's having a little vacation if you will so uh yes thank you for watching to the end of the video if you enjoyed this video then hit that thumbs up button send me a comment tell me what you think about this puffer jacket situation do you have one are you gonna make one let me know and uh if you haven't already subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video